What's good, y'all? Johnny Smith, the Bad Nurse here. I just got off work out of a night shift, and I had to quickly get home to let y'all know how I felt about this main event at UFC 278. This main event was absolutely insane. Wasn't able to see the rest of the card because I was working, but I was able to tune in to get that last event scene. I was able to watch it, and man, that was a crazy fight. Let's break it down, man, from beginning to the end. Man. Kamaru Usman getting taken down for the first time by Leon Edwards. Not only did he take him down with a good trip up, but got off top on mount and took his back and almost submitted him right there with the rear naked choke. That to me is just insane. For someone who's not really a wrestler like that, someone who's really a major in striking, to come and take a wrestler in Usman and just do him like that, that was absolutely insane. And you couldn't tell anyone at that moment in time that that was going to give him momentum going throughout the rounds. Now, the second round, Kamaru Usman absolutely comes back. He's like, you want to wrestle? Okay, let's wrestle then. So then he starts wrestling and he starts taking him down and just toying him and manhandling him, throwing him around and pretty much taking advantage of this man and just taking control of the fight. The third round, even more. Taking him down, got him up against the fence. At this point, Leon Edwards is looking absolutely gassed. He looked like he doesn't even want to be there. One of the commentators says, I can tell that Leon Edwards looked like he's about to be zoned out and he's defeated. He's mentally not there anymore because he went to his corner and his coach is talking to him and talking to him and talking to him. And he's just not really giving him that look, look in his eyes, not really even acknowledging what he's saying or anything. And you can tell he's defeated. And I'm thinking, man, that makes absolute sense. I mean, shoot, he's probably gassed and not really understanding what's going on. He felt like he probably had the momentum going into the first round after that takedown. But after that, it looked like he's just not going where he needs to go. The fourth round comes along and Usman is just not only beating him on his feet, but taking him to the ground as well. Oh man, it was absolutely insane to see Usman just sitting there, ragdolling him, hitting him in the face, this and that. You know, going into the fifth round, Usman was probably gonna just either finish him at that point or if it went to decision, you don't know Usman was going to take it hands down, no contest. So fifth round comes around and Usman still taking advantage of this guy, doing what he wants to do and posing his will. Gets hit with a low blow. Whatever time he did give Leon Edwards was enough to make him absolutely finish this guy. And me, I never thought I ever would see Usman knocked out or finished like that with a knockout. But then again, I can't really say I would have expected him to get taken down or submitted because this man's like an all-American wrestler. So I wouldn't say I, I just never thought Usman would get finished. I would thought if he was to be defeated, it'd be a split or unanimous decision or whatever the case may be. But man, I can't believe that, man. It's crazy to think that someone like Usman could lose like that. And it makes you just think, man, no matter how these guys are, they are human. I never would have thought I'd see Usman on the ground like that. That was absolutely insane. But not taking anything from Edwards, that was absolutely amazing on his part, man. To sit there and kind of throw a fake to set him up and put it away with that kick. Oh, man. And to see his reaction, the raw emotions that he really let out. Oh, man. What an absolutely amazing fight. I'm so glad I saw it. Definitely entertaining. And I cannot wait for the next UFC event, man. But that's it. I got to get up out of here, y'all. Please don't forget to subscribe to our content. We got a lot of good stuff coming out soon. It's what's good for the good.